In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy formulas in Google Sheets by using two different methods. The first way is by using autofill. And so I'm going to click on cell C3, which already contains my formula. And at the bottom right of the cell, you can see that there's a small blue box. And I'm going to hover my cursor right in the middle of this small blue box so that a plus sign or a crosshairs appears. This is called the fill handle. And so now I'm going to click my mouse and hold the click and then drag my cursor downwards until I've reached row 12. And then I'm going to release my click. Now I'm going to show you another way that you can copy formulas. And so I'm going to delete the formulas that I just copied. I'm going to click on cell C3. And now I can do the same thing that autofill did by simply copying and pasting. When you copy and paste a cell that contains a formula in Google Sheets, just like with using autofill, the cell references will automatically adjust when the formula is pasted into new rows or new columns. So I'm going to hold Control on the keyboard and press C to copy cell C3. And you can see that a dotted line has appeared around the cell, indicating that that's the cell that I've copied. And now I'm going to click on cell C4. I'm going to hold Control on the keyboard and then press V to paste. And if you want, you can do this one cell at a time. Copy, paste, press down, paste again. Or you can copy and then highlight the entire range that you want to paste into and then paste. And again, just like with autofill, it's automatically copied our formulas and adjusted the cell references. Now, before we move on, I want to show you a really useful keyboard shortcut that will save you a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is select cell C3 because this contains the formula that I want to copy to the bottom. Now I'm going to hold shift and control on the keyboard at the same time and then press the down arrow key. And that shortcut just selected all of the cells all the way to the bottom of the column. Now I'm going to use the fill down shortcut, which is control D. D stands for down. And as you can see, that shortcut instantly copied the formula all the way down to row 1000. You can also do this horizontally by pressing Control R. R stands for right and D stands for down. Now I'm going to show you another example where we copy the formula downwards and to the right. And I'm going to show you how to lock cell references so that when you want, when you copy and paste a formula or you use autofill, Google Sheets will not change the references that you have specified as being locked. So in cell B2, I have a formula that says cell A2 times cell B1. Cell A2 times cell B1. And what I want to do here is create a multiplication table. And so I want to be able to copy this formula to the right and downwards so that the references change just how I want them to so that the multiplication table fills out. And in this case, there's something special that we need to do to make that happen. So when we copy and paste our formula to the right, we want to keep referring to column A, and we do not want the column reference for A to change. And so we'll use a dollar sign before the letter A to tell Google Sheets not to change this reference as we copy and paste the formula to the right. However, for the reference to cell B1, we do want this column reference to change as we copy and paste the formula to the right so that we can refer to number one, two, three, four, and so on. Now the opposite is also true when we're copying the formula downwards. For the reference to cell A2, we do want this row reference to change as we copy and paste the formula downwards. But as we copy and paste downwards, for the reference to cell B1, we do not want the row reference to change because again, we want to keep referring to row one as we copy and paste downwards. So first I'll use the fill handle. I'll select cell B2, hover my cursor until the fill handle appears, click my mouse and hold the click and drag it right 
until I've reached cell K2 and then release my click. So now let's copy our formulas downwards. What I'm going to do is select the range B2 through K2, and then I'm going to use the fill handle to copy the formulas all the way to the bottom. And so you can also use the fill handle to copy multiple columns of formulas at once. And just like we wanted, our multiplication table has now filled in. Now, one more quick thing that I wanted to teach you is what these references are actually called when they're locked or when they're not locked. Or in other words, when you use a dollar sign and when you do not use a dollar sign. So references that are locked with the dollar sign are called an absolute reference. Now, a reference that does not have a dollar sign in front of it, which is not locked, is called a relative reference. So absolute references are locked and relative references will automatically change when you copy your formulas. So if you want to learn more about copying and pasting formulas or using autofill, I've linked the article for this video below. Or you can also check out my video on using the array formula function, which will let you extend the functionality of your formulas down an entire column by using one formula in one cell.